all right <laughs> hey guys if you're at this video then that means you watched my other video so you know duh, 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 i am getting bsg surgery you know I just don't know what to say about that. But um, I want to do this video right now to talk about my... I'll talk a little bit. Matter of fact, I'll put this... I'll talk about what I've been through so far. How about that? I was going to do this video specifically for my psych appointment. But I'll do it to talk about what I've gone through so far since it's kind of out the middle of my journey. So, as I told y'all in the, in the previous video, I went for my consultation, signed up for all my appointments, and... My insurance, I have Aetna, my insurance requires that you go through a three-month um, a three month supervised diet, which means that I have to meet with, I'm trying to get this paper, which means that I have to meet with my nutritionist um, once a month for three months. My surgery is scheduled for December, like the second week in December. Um, and so, like, that's three months or whatever since my first, like, I'm not psych, my first nutrition appointment. So, um, let's see. So, in my consultation, I signed up for my appointment. So, I have to have three nutrition appointments. I have to have a fitness evaluation. I have to have a psych, psych appointment. And I have to have a pre-op class support group um, meeting. And then I have a last meeting where I meet up with my surgeon and my nutritionist and everybody. It's like a multidisciplinary like kind of meeting or whatever that I have to do. So let's talk about the visit that I went to first. So the visit, the first visit I went to was one of my nutrition appointments. So and I also have my nutrition folder with me. So, um, the first appointment that I went to was my nutrition appointment. That appointment was on, I'll tell y'all the day that was on. That appointment was on August 7th. August 7th, I went to my nutrition appointment. Went to my nutrition appointment, they gave me this, this, um, folder. So, they weighed me, um, when I first got there, I had lost two pounds. So, they was like, oh, you know, that's exciting, blah, blah, blah. Where is that card at? Okay. So, I guess in this video, I will tell you guys how much I weighed. So, I don't know if you guys can see this. So, right here, I really hope you guys can see this. Because I have my contacts in it, but it's a little blurry for me. Let's see. Can you guys see this? So, when I first came on, what is that, July 18th I was 304.2 when I came on August 7th I was 302 so up here um and I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see so up here it gives you goals it says like they they do it from your predicted surgery date and how much you should be losing um how much you would be losing after your surgery so where it says one month and one month I should be this weight which is 273.7. In three months, I should be 250.9. In six months, I should be 225. And in 12 months, which is a year, I should be 304. So in a year, I should have lost roughly 100 pounds. This basically, what they explained to me was, this basically just help, um, helps everybody stay on track. Me, my um, nutritionist, like the facility, everybody stay on track. So if I'm not losing this this amount of weight or close to it by then, then we need to figure out what's going on. Are you eating wrong? Da 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 da. Things like that. So that's kind of what that little goal thing over here is for. Um. Also, at my nutrition appointment, they gave me a paper that tells me. Um, that tells me websites or things that I could purchase for vitamins. Now, when you um, get VSG surgery, you after you have it, your stomach is the size of a banana. You can't, you can only fit like four ounces worth of food in your stomach at a time. Blah blah blah. And so basically, you're not getting enough vitamins and nutrients and minerals and stuff like that that you would be getting if you were eating regular portions like regular adult portions you're eating portions of a baby but you're an adult so you have to take vitamins basically for the rest of your life or whatever um because to, to get your the proper amount of vitamins that you need so they gave me this piece of paper i don't know if i'm supposed to be showing this so i hope i, I don't know why it matters though um 
So they tell me what vitamins I will need, where to find them, what to purchase. I've looked all this stuff up. So um, I'll put a picture right here of that paper as well. So I don't have to hold it up. But so I've already looked up the prices of this stuff. So for the ProCare Health Bariatric Multivitamins that have 45 uh, milligrams of iron for a 90 pack, it's $34.99. For my the calcium pills, for a 90 pack is $21.95 and for a 270 pack is $46.95. And down here it says how to take it. So um, it says you take it three days after surgery. It tells you breakfast, lunch, and dinner what to take. Um, on the back is another option if you don't want to buy the first option. But I plan on buying the first option, so I'm not even going to show you out of that. Um, so that's my whole vitamin thing that they gave me. They gave me a paper for choosing a protein supplement. Um, you're supposed to have 60 grams of protein a day. So, um, like the Premier Protein drinks, they have like 30 grams of protein. And the protein bars that I like to, to eat, which I don't have one available, but Pure Protein, um, their bars have like 20 grams of protein. So, this piece of paper that I'm also going to put up right here um, just gives you different options of what kind of proteins you can use. Um, tells you where to get them, if they're brand names, powder base, water base, vegan options, things like that. So, that's another paper my nutritionist gave me. Also, in my meeting, um, she told me about the proper water intake, which I think is 80, is it 80 grams? I think the, I think the amount of water that you're supposed to have a day is 80 grams, if I'm not mistaken. So, they talked to me about that, um... They talked to me about my liquid diet that I have to be on for two weeks before um, my surgery, which everybody knows about the liquid diet. Um, what is allowed is five checks a day. But they, okay, so my facility is all inclusive. Um, the facility that I go to is like a weight management facility. So they have the nutritionist, the psych person, the fitness person all in the same building. So you don't have to go out and find somebody uh like a nutritionist or a fitness person things like that it's all included and also at my facility um my meal replacement they give you a meal replacement if i'm yeah yeah they give you a meal replacement for what you can use for i think before and after if i'm not mistaken for the surgery it's kind of like a protein powder you can make shakes things like that it's a big ass bag like she showed me the bag it's a huge bag um I think that's included. Um, three days after my surgery, they want me to begin my vitamin regimen. Um, it talks about... It gets, this, this thing is a diet transition made simple. So it tells you, like, before surgery, this is what you need to be doing. The day before surgery, this is what you need to be doing. Um, on the actual surgery day, this is what you need to be doing. After surgery, three days, one week post-op. Um, from two to three weeks and a month post-op. It tells you what you need to be doing on those days or around that time. Is this video? Okay, eight minutes. Good. Um, what else is in here? And this is just some behavior change goals. Um, this is just like some, some goals to make sure you're staying on the right track with eating. Like eat three meals a day. Once you complete that goal, you put the date by when you completed it. Things like that. It's an exercise goal and behavior goal. So that's another thing that he gave us. I really like my nutritionist. I really like, I hope I get her every time. I think she only works on certain days and I really need to <laughs> figure out what days they are so I can change my appointments. But anyway, so that was my nutrition appointment. Um, if you guys have any questions... I'm trying to run through this. So, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. So, next was my psych evaluation that was today, which I was very nervous about. I had texted my friend that, um, my friend and I told y'all I was having surgery this week. I texted her, I was like, bro, what am I going to do about the psych evaluation? She was like, girl, it's easy. Don't worry about it. But I'm still kind of nervous, you know, talking to strangers, blah, blah, blah. But it was a breeze. Like, my psych evaluation, just talk. Just talk to these people. You know, like... They really want to make sure, like, okay, my psych psychiatrist, or she might be a psychiatrist, um, was it's like different level, like different um, groups that they have to give you an eval on. So like, she asked me questions, and this these specific questions were to make sure you don't have bipolar disorder. She asked me another group of questions. These questions were to make sure that you don't have 
eating disorders or you don't have suicidal thoughts things like that but she really was just asking me about my career and how my career plays into my eating and my weight loss and if I've if I've always struggled with weight loss or is this something that's like um hold on one second have I always struggled with weight loss or is this something that started when I was adult things like that and she she was very cool like I felt comfortable talking to her I've never seen a psychiatrist before, so I don't know if all psychiatrists are like that. Like, I don't know if all psychiatrists are comfortable to talk to. You know, you there's some people that you mesh with, and there's some people that you don't mesh with. It was a white lady, but I don't think that matters. But it wasn't that hard. I had I just had to fill out a questionnaire that had, like, 300-something questions on it. But it was true false. I was like, Lord have mercy. But it's something that your insurance requires you to do, so that's that and it was a breeze i think it was supposed to take two hours and it didn't my appointment was at 12 it's 137 right now but i probably been sitting in my car for 30 minutes so i probably got out of there at out of there at one and i can't i got there a little bit early like i got there at like 11 40 so i would say between sitting there talking to her and filling out this long ass true false questionnaire it probably took like a maybe an hour and a half and it wasn't even it wasn't even that deep so that's what i've been through so far my psych evaluation i mean i'm sorry not my psych evaluation my fitness evaluation i think is scheduled for next week if i'm not mistaken and they will they will go make you get on the treadmill and stuff like that but i don't have no problem with working out that's not a problem for me so i i was dreading the psych appointment more than the fitness evaluation like i just eat bad like i i can exercise i just i just eat the wrong stuff um what else did i want to talk about i've been drinking my 80 grams 80 80 ounces why do i keep saying grams talking about water my 80 ounces i've been drinking my 80 ounces maybe probably like five days out the week i've been drinking because when i'm at work i constantly drink water because i'm always walking around and I think that's contributing to me kind of starting to lose weight. Now, I'm not going to say I've been eating completely healthy on this journey so far, but I have been cutting back and I've been taking my lunch to work, things like that. Um, There was something else that I was going to say. Oh, so my insurance, I remember this lady told me, she was like, I'm not going to lie to you. She was like, Aetna is the strictest when it comes to weight loss surgery. And I'm like, fuck why did I get the strict insurance but my insurance is good so that's probably why but um Aetna requires that you do not gain a single point of a pound this whole time you're on this journey so if I was 304.2 and I'm 304.3 they're not gonna approve me okay so that's kind of why I'm why I'm nervous about these birth control pills because I don't want them to help me gain weight. But metformin also helps you lose weight. So I'm hoping that if I'm taking both of them at the same time, it's kind of like counteracting the um, birth control pills. But like I said, I've lost two pounds so far. So it is what it is. And they, they say you can stay the same weight. Like if I'm 304.2, I could stay 304.2, but I can't be 304.3. Like that's not going to happen. So... That's what it is about insurance. Um, this video is getting a little long. This man is, oh, I thought he was looking at me trying to see what I was doing. But anyway, that's that. So if you guys have any questions, please ask me. Like, And if I don't know the answer, I will try to find it because I've been doing a whole bunch of research. Like I said, the people whose YouTube videos I watch and the Instagram people who I follow, I will let y'all know below i'm not in any of those facebook group bsg facebook groups i don't like all that <laughs> so i'm not about to be doing all that but yeah so right now i'm pretty i'm pretty happy in life right now like my career is going good for me i'm doing good with this weight loss thing uh you know i i'm getting myself financially together like i feel like i'm at a good place in life right now um relationship wise you know it is what it is like it doesn't it doesn't bother me you know how some people are like some people hate being single it doesn't bother me so i'm good in that aspect like i don't i think i'm my lips are so dry i don't have any chapstick but um dang it but yeah that's about it 
So like I said, guys, please, please, please ask me questions. And I will keep you guys updated from now on. I know I just threw a whole bunch at y'all because I didn't start recording from the beginning. But I was dreading recording. I did not want to do it. I was going to record when I started my liquid diet. <laughs> That's when I was going to start recording. But, you know, I need to get back into the swing of YouTube anyway. By the way, my ring light broke. But we'll talk about that. It fell and the bulb shattered. So I need to get another bulb. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys later. Bye.